Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a search for the undated 20 pence piece with me, Richie. Right, here we go. We're going to get straight into it. Um, looking, looking, looking for all these lovely 20 pences. Um, getting our hands dirty and all that stuff. Wonder if we find any territories in this batch today. Alright, so quite a nice little pile of um, shields forming here. So hopefully, the one we want is going to be in there. So let's just do this. Little shields there, so let's just grab this batch and see what could be inside here. So that's got it's got like a whitey hue to it. Probably had some chemical spill on it or something in the past. That's why you need to wash your hands regularly when it comes to handling change. I remember there was a kid I knew that um, he told me he loved collecting coins and he'd always carry like a commemorative 50p in his pocket um, when I was a scout leader and he used to put them in his mouth <laughs> and I would constantly tell him not to put them in his mouth and he constantly did. So hopefully he's okay. <laughs> Alright, let's spread these ones out. Just have a little glance. Is there any um any sneakies in there? No. So we're just gonna we'll keep the shields in camera shot, they're just under my hand there. Look, there they are. Um because obviously if we do find the undated, I wanna make sure that we all know where they come from. Take these out. Nope, nope. They go there. It's funny, where the machines in my local bank have been switched off for change, uh, the actual change machines, um, I have noticed a lot more people using um, the Coinstar in the supermarket. Uh, but I haven't seen any coin star in like finds because we used to get quite a bit, didn't we? And I don't know if it's because they've repositioned the coin star machine near the till, so obviously it's not because it used to be like tucked away in a corner and now it's out in like view of everyone. So I don't know if more people have noticed coins being left there and then they're taking them. We used to have some really good finds. I remember once I um, walked past it, noticed there was some coins, thought they were actually euros. And I was like, hmm, I'll grab them and see if I need them for my collection. Put them in my pocket, not even glancing at them when I put them in my pocket. When I got to work that day, I thought I'll have a look and see what euros they were. They weren't euros, it was literally 25 pounds in pound coins that was left in the returns tray so that was a pretty cool thing to um, have happen well cool for me but not for the person who lost them <laughs> like left them there it's like when um, I found so many notes on the floor um, like at checkouts and um, in the street and my wife always says to me that it's, it's cursed money if you spend it. And I've been alright so far. I remember actually I found a, when it was the paper £10, I found one on like, you know, the edge of the curb on the road. And I saw it and I was actually coming home from the gym at the time. And 
it was actually stuck to the road where cars had driven over it. Um, I managed to get up and <laughs> I went straight into the supermarket because I needed to go and buy stuff. And I used it and it worked. So even though it got like run over so, I don't know how many times, um, it still worked. And I found like 20 pound notes on the floor just outside my house. I actually found a, what was it, an Argos gift card once that was um, on the floor. And I thought to myself, I'll just pick it up and check it. Probably empty. And it was like 50 quid on it. So I don't know how that happened. And obviously I used it. <laughs> and my wife just thinks it's crazy that I can sometimes walk around. It's like when I used to go around in central London, um, like Leicester Square, Saturday nights and stuff, used to be able to find a lot of money on the floor, especially where the casino areas are. When you're gonna go get the tomorrow's newspaper, which has a different, um, front page is the one that you see delivered to where you work and things like that right so we didn't find any dateless or anything no territories dateless or nothing like that so well so we're just gonna bag them all up there we go and get them ready to go back to the bank so guys, thank you very, very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Um, as always, keep well, keep safe, look after yourself, look after each other, and I'll see you in the next one. So take care, guys, and happy coin hunting. Oh, goodbye.